What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a paint correction. Let me split this around. Paint correction on the 535. Let me show you what we have as far as products go. All right, so a quick rundown of all the products I have here. I have a 2500 and 5000 grit um, sandpaper, which I'm gonna use for all the clear coat imperfections. And I'm gonna use that in conjunction with the Meguiar's detailer spray. Next I have is Dr. Color Chip. I'm gonna use that for all the road rash, all the paint chips. And what that kit comes with is your color-coded uh, paint, BMW 300 right here, and the Silact, Silact, sorry, um, product, which after you touch it up, you put some on this, uh, this also comes with this white towel. You put a couple drops on and you use that to level out the, the paint comes with a microfiber and three little brushes here. And also with the kit comes this glove. And I'll put all the uh, links for all these products below if you guys are interested in any. And also before you fill in any of the cracks, we're gonna go over with some uh, alcohol to clean out anything. Cause if there's any buildup of uh, polishes, uh, any kind of waxes, uh, you wanna clean all that out thoroughly so the paint has something uh, to bond to go get much more life out of it. So before we do any of the paint correction work as far as the, with the Dr. Color chip, we are going to clay bar the entire car. For most of the car, I'm gonna use my synthetic mother's uh, clay bar. And then I have some Meguiar's clay bar that we're gonna use in all the little nooks and crannies that you can't get with this big one here. I also have my uh, Griots, is that how you pronounce it, <laughs> polisher some tape to tape off all the uh, black plastic uh, moldings. Let me step off here on the other side. Also have the Griot's Complete Compound with their cutting pad. This is for aggressive scratches that we're gonna use this on. Then I have the liquid wax for any lighter swirls. I may not even use this, but I also have the orange pad for that as well. And then I have the Complete Polish, Griot's as well with the red pad. And then of course microfibers. So when we finish everything else, we're gonna finish off with the Meguiar's Ceramic Hybrid Wax. Now, this is a great product, but if you want the best ceramic coating out there, you would wanna go with an Avalon King and check out Pat Garage Online. He has very detailed knowledge on the Avalon King. So make sure you check out Pat's Garage Online and I'll put a link below for that as well. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is wash the car down. Make sure you thoroughly wash it. We've already done that. Also, I'll tape around the grills here, the black, cover that up. Anything black, I'm gonna tape that up. And also, I'm gonna do my headlights as well. I'm also gonna remove the tags just so we can get the entire body. Also, I'm gonna tape the emblem. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my quick detailer, spray down the hood, we'll start here. Are you serious? part of my neighbors <laughs> and I'm gonna use a synthetic clay bar I'm gonna do the entire car with this first so I have been goes ahead and finishes up with the uh, synthetic bar I'm gonna go back with the actual clay bar and I'm gonna go in all these little tight spaces in here where he can't reach with the synthetic one so with the actual clay bar you still use the same process get your quick detailer spray it down really good and then work the area in and then once you go over it a few times you can wipe it down real quick with a microfiber grab one here and give it a feel see if there's any thing left behind if it's nice and smooth you're good to move on if not hit it again see it's not that dirty because we did just wash it and we hit a lot of this area with the synthetic one I just want to get in these little grooves
All right, guys, so we're done clay barring the car. Now we're gonna go back and wipe the whole car down real quick with rubbing alcohol. And then we're gonna go back and pinpoint all the rock chips and uh, any scratches. I wanna touch up with the uh, Dr. Color Chip touch up kit. So just grab a clean microfiber. Must start with the roof first. Wipe the whole car down. I'm gonna go back and get all the rock chips with this little brush here. All right, so we just finished taping everything up. Kind of looks like an I-8. What do you think? With all that blue. <laughs> so the next step we're gonna do is fill in all the paint chips. So we're gonna start with this section right here with the uh, BMW 300 Alpine white paint. And this has the clear coat mixed in it. So I'm gonna take my brush here, little, apply a little bit. And then they say to take it and just wipe it like that but it's taking the paint off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it up a little bit let that dry for a couple minutes doesn't take long and then you can go back with the select step two so I'm gonna put a couple drops on the uh, white cloth they give you and then just work it in just gently getting the excess off so I'm gonna let that harden a little bit more and uh, I'm gonna do one more coat on top of it so here's another area I'm gonna do a before and after as you can see we have a chip here chip right here here and here there's four of them so I'm gonna go ahead and touch them up and do a little before and after for you all right so now I'm gonna go back with the select get all the excess off and then I'll buff it off with my microfiber hope you can see it's already looking much better and there's the after don't look bad at all right now I've done about from here down all the way across the car I've noticed a lot of high spots above here um, there's some other areas I want to address like this dirt accumulation on the clear coat uh, some clear coat issues I have up here uh, and I'm gonna wet sand with the 2500 and the 5000 grit sandpaper before I start touching them up one of the high spots is right here so what I'm gonna do is squirt it down with some quick detailer the area and also my uh, 2500 grit sandpaper start working at it in one direction and then go back the other direction and then I'm going to go back with my 5000 grit and I'm going to work the area a little longer and a little wider just so it feathers in and take my microfiber and wipe it off and now that's pretty smooth and I can touch that area up all right guys so I went around the whole car and touched up all the spots all the little nicks with my uh, dr. color chip kit and the next step is going to be to compound the areas I do have some scratches um, I'm gonna focus on the front first I'm trying to get this uh, this line out see that from the tag 
So I'm gonna compound here, work my way back, and then I will head over to polishing. All right, so I have my cutting attachment. It's a microfiber, it's for extra cutting. And I'm gonna go with the complete compound. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops here. One, two. I'm gonna work it into the attachment here. Dab it on. And I have it on speed setting two. By Argo. Now a little bit. You wanna make sure your polisher is perfectly flat. You don't wanna tilt it. came out there so I'm gonna go ahead and start working around the front now at the rear I have some scratches back here. I'm going to compound those out next. So now that I'm done with the compound, I'm going to grab a clean microfiber and wipe the whole car down where I did compound. And then we'll go back and polish. So before I polish the hood, I have some uh, debris from compounding the front bumper. Just gonna give it a quick wipe down. All right guys, I have to close my garage door because someone is running a chainsaw. So um, we're switching over to the red foam attachment. And we're gonna use the complete compound. You can use any brand you want. I prefer Meguiar's or the uh, Groitz, however you, wanna, <laughs> however you pronounce it. Um, both good brands. I just, this came with the polisher, so I decided to get the compound in the same brand as well. Same concept, we're gonna put a few drops. I put nine. Nice odd number. And then work it in to your pad. And then we're just gonna Dab it, start in one section. I'm gonna go one direction, about a, I'm gonna go about right to here, and then we're gonna cross hatch it this direction. And you also wanna overlap a little bit, about, uh, about 15%. Grab a clean microfiber. If you got these tags on them, Rip them off. By Argo. Nice. Hey, Jimmy. Try to get in the habit of putting the uh, cord behind you. Now, wherever I wet sanded, you're going to want to pay some extra attention with the polish there just so you don't have any fading you bring back that gloss i gotta say this is coming out a lot better than i thought it was going to that dr color chip and uh just the process i'm doing it's really bringing back out the white all that road rash is starting to camouflage itself i mean you have to really look in close to see it uh, but overall i think it's looking sharp all right guys the final step the Meguiar's uh, ceramic wax. It says here to uh, do two passes and allow three to five minutes for it to dry before removing with a clean microfiber. So let's get to it. All right, just finishing up. I'm, I really like this ceramic wax. Uh, I, used, I did use the, the spray one before. But this just feels like it covers better and you can go over plastic chrome with it uh, i did the headlights as well but if you're looking for a pure real ceramic coating 
Uh, like I said earlier in the video, check out Pat from Pat's Garage Online. He uses the Avalon King. He loves the product, he swears by it. And I'll have that link below as well. So if you're interested in any of these products, I'll have all the links in the description below. Uh, hope you liked the video. Drop me a like, subscribe if you haven't, and ring that notification bell to stay tuned for the next video. We have a good one coming up next week. I think you'll be all surprised as it has to do with that race chip dyno. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. See you in the next video.